So we got a little bit of base action happening this morning. We uh, tested everything. It sounds great. We've got uh, our 15, 115 on the bottom, 210 on the top, 421s uh, patched into my two Mercury M72s. Sounds great. And we're using the uh, KGB uh, as our instrument preamp slash DI. That thing is just awesome by itself. Good lord. And then we come through straight out into the 700 RB G2. And I'll play a little bit of what we just did. Now let me get a. Oh, give me that. And this is our buddy Frank. What up? We've been uh, having some new guys coming around, Frank and Travis. Travis couldn't be here today. I think he's on the road. On the road again. All right, so. I also normally here do a, uh, uh, you know, like a distorted amp, usually a Mar the Marshall or the Bogner, but we didn't do it for now. We know what that sounds like. Anyway, so we phased uh, the, the the, the 10 inch speaker here. We phased the 10 with the 15 and, and there were, it was 44, uh, both of them phased was exactly 44 samples behind the DI or no, yeah, DI. So we, no, wait, we did this the wrong way. That goes there. Okay. Crazy. All right. So, uh, you know, here's the, here it is. think the bigger speaker is going to have more low end but the, the 15 is more mid-rangey and you can hear the playing more where the 10 is more booty and more it's more kind of it's, it's, it's sonically more attractive when you blend them together from Gick Acoustics today. That's uh, U87. I think it should have the pad on. I'll double check. And just into the 1073. No EQ, no compression. All right. Test one, two. Test one, two. Hey, 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 hey! Woo! One, two. Well, you know what? Close that door. Get a little AC on there. Just... Yeah, this is untreated. Nothing on the wall. It's just... Hey, 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 U87 into 1073. Look at Frank Sinise at the helm. So, yeah, that'll work, man. Man, it is quiet in that room, huh? That's crazy. It's really good. They did a nice job. So, that's it. So, vocals are going to work. I'm going to assume acoustic guitar will be fine. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So Thursday, Tarek Ghirardella is coming in. And he's going to track drums. Yeah, cool. Yeah, right there. And we're going to see if we can get a good drum sound. Then we'll be able to do drums here. And, and obviously if you know people want demos or whatever, or however they want, they, they can track them here. Or we can go to... Uh, a friend's studio that has a big drum room and track them in a big drum room. But we'll see. I'll kind of hinge on what my next step is as far as... So I've got a beautiful drum set. I mean, Zildjian cymbals, everything. So we'll see. But let's, uh, let's fire up all the guitars now. Yeah. 
Ace 30, take two. <laughs> I have to set that preamp. <laughs> Telly for the stocks. And again, that's the greenback cab. Alright, so now I got my my black Les Paul. I'm in brown eye. Custom 45, Billy Powerdale mod. More of a mid forward. into the marshal below it and this is a stock 77 uh, I think the only I think there was a bias mod so that it could use EL 34s that's all that's on it it's totally stock uh, with a master volume man, there you go, man. Just a good, old, good old school marshal here man I've been using this so much the last year. This is such a great amp. It's like we can make Def Leppard high and dry, you know? And again, I'm just running this like through the through the Les Paul, but you can go through with this with a telly and get really great kind of middle of the road sound. Let's also look at the low input, the low input, which we use a lot lately on cleans. Sometimes 
blended with the uh, sometimes blended with the, uh, the American Dream, the, uh, the the Third Power, or the Princeton. Sam. I, I've been really enjoying blending that with the Marshall the last year or so. It really works nice. I was actually going to get rid of it. We've been using it so little. We're doing so little rock, but then I used it recently and I was like, oh, good lord, that's right. I, I like this. Yeah, this is, uh, my buddy makes these, Jamie. He's, and he's out here now. He was a glam rocker like me in the 80s. If you're, hearing, if you're watching this, Jamie, we both used to wear lipstick. But in a very heterosexual way. You know? <laughs> this is his third power, uh, American Dream. He makes, uh, he does an American Dream, and he also does this, uh, like, uh, British version. I can't, British Dream, I guess it's called. And this is, uh, like, a blackface. I, don't know, I think it's 65. I don't really know the, all the, the, but this is a black face. This is a brown face. This is more of a the open kind of quintessential Princeton trim, tr not uh, like, like deluxe reverb, twin reverby kind of. This is a brown face, kind of like the old school tweeds. This is more grunty and kind of darker, which I didn't use this as much. I was always using this one, but actually, quite a bit lately, I've been using the brown face. You know, sometimes it takes you a while to find. Your, your your niche with me. Anyway, I'm back to my uh, to my red telly. Anyway, this amp is just killer, and it's got 10 watts or 22 watts. So there's 10 watts. Woo! Presence. And it's real simple. It's got like a bright switch. soft they're cleaner and then if you dig in it gets it gets heavier
So let's unplug it. Let's plug in the Princeton. All these amps are really simple, just a couple of knobs. Ooh. What's weird about some of these little fenders, too, and that third power, you crank them, you put the Les Paul through them, and then you blend it with the Marshall thing, and it gives it a shimmery. Especially the Princeton, it's surprisingly, you can get surprisingly crunchy. Do a little bit with this, then I'll switch to the to the. Uh, so this is still the tally. And all these are going through the green back cab. Yeah, but so so now I'm on the Les Paul, so I crank it a little bit, open up that top end. It gets a cool like like a. Uh, uh. Sometimes blended with the AC30 or the Marshall. It's just kind of what the doctor ordered. sounding my favorite head you like that that's huh? my favorite head <laughs> oh man yeah that's like i said I, it's been my gig head I, i've yeah it's just killer man it's just absolutely unstoppable what a sound it's pissed
So there, that's the amps. And everybody seems to be working. Hey, you know, they're all different tools, man. Some you know dudes come in here into Americana and you plug in that mark that amp they'll walk out the door. <laughs> they'll be like, no, give me the AC30 and the, the the third power and the Princeton. So you know it's kind of like different tools. But I think I want to switch up the amp rack. I've got some fresh ideas based on kind of what I'm feeling in the, the surrounding the surrounding uh, landscape of music here. There you go, Nashville guitar sounds. So there you go. So we've switched some things around, kind of based on today, and also the I took out uh, I took out the, the Harry Brown Eye Brown Eye, and I put in the, the Ocean for that for a little while. Different sound. Kept the '77, kept the Galen Kruger, and kept the uh, the, the uh, Vox AC30. And I took out the Uber Shaw, and I put in the uh, Third Power American Dream. So these will be the ones that are just always here. And then over there, I've got. Harry Brown Eye, uh, Das Uberschall, and uh, uh, Princeton. A lot of times, too, when we're recording, we'll slide things over. I'll, I'll just slide the Princeton here, too. So a lot of times with cleans, I like to use the Princeton and the third power. Kind of get the stereo imaging going, maybe put a little bit of light chorus or flanger on it and get it all spacey. There you are. Good day, Mr. Sinise. Look, we hung stuff. A little hemisphere sign and some of my little plaques and awards and now. magazine articles and yeah it's coming together Thursday we're gonna do drums my buddy's coming out from North Carolina kind of see where that's at and then that's kind of it I think I'm gonna hang some curtains there I've got a rug for over here when we track drums I think I think we're pretty good man I've got some fixes to do on a couple of mixes and some recalls and then we're going to start with TJ's record we're going to mix him and then we're going to move to uh, Angela Peppy rock and roll <laughs>